So, I would suggest that one of the reasons that uh, people don't use quiz more is that creating good quiz questions is difficult and time consuming. Okay? And that's because good questions need to closely match the knowledge and understanding of the students. They have to be uh, not too difficult, not too easy. And it's also very hard to proofread them well. It's always hard to proofread your own material, and students can be quite upset, even on low stakes exams, if there are errors in exams. So student quiz, this is what I'm about to talk to you about today, allows students to create questions. Now, because creating questions in Moodle is relatively complex, it's a good idea if you give them a short tutorial on how to create questions, and it's also a good idea if you focus on the easy-to-use question types, but perhaps uh, multi-choice questions. Um, and I'd also strongly recommend installing, there's some very, very easy-to-use question types called Gap Fill and Word Select, uh, created by an awesome developer called Marcus Green, um, and they're so easy to use that I have to print the instructions on laminated drool-proof paper. They really, really are easy to use. So the benefits of student quiz are the students do the work. And we know, that we know, we know in our minds that the idea of students creating materials and questions or teaching people makes, helps students to learn. It's also a great side benefit is teachers have less work to do. But really importantly, as a result of this, it will generate reusable questions. And when I say reusable, I mean stock standard Moodle questions that you can import wherever you have an installation of Moodle. Um, this is the interface that the students will see. And I've got these two arrows because it shows the students can get points uh, either through creating questions, which is different from quiz, of course, or from taking questions. And they can select the questions that appear on their quizzes by, as you can see, the criteria there, rating, difficulty, or tag. But they can also click the Show More button there, and that will give them a lot more options. Now, ratings is an automatically calculated value based on previous attempts, which means more attempts. The uh, ratings is feedback from students, sorry, from other students. You've got difficulty is based on, on attempts calculated, and tags is the tag feature that is in Core Quiz, but Core Quiz doesn't actually use. So this is what students will see. And this is an example of, a, remember I was mentioning the very easy to use question types, this is word select. So all the student had to do when they created this is just put square braces around the correct answer. So the question is, select the word that best describes the, Moodle, the Moot presenters. And we've got some random words and a clearly correct answer there. And the student has clicked on awesome, and they've been given feedback. It says, uh, your, ans your answer is correct. Yes, indeed, the presenters are awesome, well spotted. This is where it differs from stock quiz because they're able to give stars to the question. They can also type in text there, and you can see here that one person has said, this is a pointless question and not in a good Richard Osmond, Osmond type of way, which is a reference to afternoon TV in the UK, if that's unfamiliar to you. So they can give feedback there. Now, when I was preparing this presentation, uh, I've been creating large numbers of uh, questions to help people learn English, and I was going to test them to see whether or not, students to see whether or not you knew, you knew that you should say, I saw an elephant or a elephant. Uh, unfortunately, I made an error. I didn't put in the distractor A, and so I put in some feedback. No stars, there's only one option, so it's impossible to get this question wrong. And you can imagine students being quite frank in their feedback if you have that kind of error. But it's very useful because normally when a student is attempting a question, they're far too busy attempting the quiz to uh, be able to give you feedback. So the benefit for teachers is you get students to do some of the work because inventing questions is difficult. It requires imagination. You have to come up with plausible distractors. And as a teacher, once they've done that, you can pick out the best ones and reuse them. And i just got to emphasize this. These are standard Moodle question types. And I have tested it with just about all of the third-party question types that I can get my hands on, um, including the stack mathematic question. And yesterday, I was having a look at the weirdest question types. And because it runs so much, it mostly is uh, Moodle core quiz code, it seems to run everything just about out of the box. Now, people like social media, okay? And it's not just about kitten videos. 
or your friends being sick on a Saturday night. Um, it's the ease of interaction. When you go on to Facebook, you just click the stars, okay? And this is one of the things this offers. You can put in textual feedback, but you can just click stars to get feedback. And people are inherently social. I was going to say people like people. That's not strictly true. Sometimes they like to interact, but it's not because they're being nice. Okay, so what is this product? This is two modules. We've got the student quiz activity module, and we've got a question behavior module. You could just install the one, but without the question behavior, you don't get the rating, and get, that gives you the social aspect or the ability to give feedback. So by default, when a student creates a question, they get 10 points. So 10 points for creating a question. And the more experienced teachers here may be well be thinking, yes, I can just see my students creating questions like, is my teacher dull and boring, yes or no? Okay? Junk questions. A question creator, though, gets three points for each star given when somebody takes a question. Okay? Now, that's three, three points for each star, and then you can get up to five stars. And answering a question correctly gets two points. So you can see that the social and uh, feedback or rating system mitigates the likelihood of students creating junk questions. Now, your trainer or a teacher can mark questions as approved. That doesn't release the question. That simply says to the students when they're selecting which questions they want in a quiz that a teacher has looked at this, it's been approved, and it's probably not a junk question. Students can see their ranking in the class, and the, uh, when it displays their ranking in the class, they only see their own name, and the other names, by default, are anonymized, uh, although um, you can turn that off. This is a navigation menu that they see, so you've got statistics and rank. The students will see that. That is in a pre-boost theme. It does work in uh, 3.2. It works with boost-style themes, and it shows you a menu like that. So that's a screenshot of how the ranking appears. And in case you're wondering why Anonymous at the top got so many marks, that's because it's me, and I imported all, lots of questions in from an XML file. Um, so I deserved all those marks for my ability to do that. Uh, here is an example. So at the top here, we've got Frank Koch. That's one of the creators. He's at a university in Switzerland. Um, some statistics. You can see times user ran the quiz, total of answers, total of correct answers, and total. So you've got some... Uh, this is the non-anonymized view that the teacher would see. And I met, made reference earlier on to difficulty level. This is dynamically calculated from the question attempts information. Okay? So the more people attempt the questions, the better the difficulty level rating is. Uh, so the students can select questions based on difficulty. Um, it could be that your difficult questions are just bad questions. They may, the answer that is given is the wrong answer. And that could be useful for a tutor to spot which questions uh, are faulty. Now, I mentioned earlier on that uh, this supports tags for smart grouping and filtering. And this, in some ways, is an alternative to question categories, because it, logically, a question could be in multiple categories, but you can't do that with categories, but a question can have multiple tags associated with it. Bit of a, a thing to be aware of, it doesn't import categories. That threw me at first, because I'm a big fan of question categories. Also, some question types are really hard to create. For example, the core close. That, that's nothing to do with this tool. That's just, uh, uh, just the, 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 the core question types. And there are some very easy to use question types from third parties. So what's the state of this, status of this plugin? Uh, it has been alive, I think, for about a year or so with real students at the university. There's a URL at the end of this for this university. It's a standard installable plugin. It doesn't rely on any third party servers or anything like that. It's, PHP and a little bit of JavaScript. It's right at the moment, it's currently in the plugins approval process and it should be available for download very soon. You can download it from the GitHub link and install it at the moment. And they have plans for it. Uh, it's got translations for English, German, and French. Uh, and if anybody likes this and is keen to translate it into your language, please uh, let them know. That'd be great. And they've got plans for things like additional gamification. Uh, control of the available question types, so you can limit it to certain question types, the use of badges, uh, improve, improvements in the statistics, and uh, other plans for the future. Uh, those are the links on the slideshow uh, where you can download it from GitHub. That's the, the plugin and the behavior. There's a video there, so you can hear Frank's voice describing um, what it does and how you can use it. Um, and that's Frank, that's the creator. Um, 
That's a URL of the university that uses it. And you can go to this URL right now. This should be live and have a play with it. And it says on the site that if you log in as a student with a password of test, if everybody does it, it's probably going to be madly confusing because everybody will have them go at the same time. But you get to see what it looks like. So that is Student Quiz. Thank you very much for listening to me, ladies and gentlemen.